Not only can processing tell us the X and Y coordinates of the mouse cursor, that's it, mouse X and mouse Y, but it can tell us how far the mouse was pressed from a particular point. This is helpful because it allows us to perform animations depending on how close or how far the mouse is pressed to a given shape. Say we are drawing a circle with a center in the middle of the screen, say at 100 and 100. The circle is very small. The width and height of the ellipse function are set to 10. What we want to do now is to draw bigger circles as the mouse is pressed with the width height equal to the distance between the center and where the mouse was pressed. The function dist given as dist of x1, y1, x2, y2 gives us the distance between two points given by their x and y coordinates. The distance between two points is calculated using the Euclidean distance formula like this. Let's draw an ellipse, making sure that we set its width height as a global variable like this. Now when the mouse is pressed, we want to set the values of circle width to be twice the distance between the position of the mouse and the center of the circle. It's twice because the ellipse takes as parameters the overall width and height. Remember this. This is how the code would look like. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 